Here we have a very nice looking 2010 Volkswagen Tiguan Sport TDI in grey. As you'll see throughout the video, this car is in a lovely condition. It's clearly been taken care of. And if we start with the offside front tyre, looking at the tread depth there in the centre of the tyre, we're looking at about four, four to five millimetres of tread, so plenty of tread on the offside front. Looking at the offside front alloys, you can see there's some very minor little curb, curb marks around the outside edge of the alloy there. Um, again, some very light curb marks there. So again, a possible refurb, but isn't too bad at all for its age. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, um, I can see just one or two very light dinks. Nothing really to be uh, wary of, they're very light. Um, apart from that, it does look very clean. Looking around the offside front arch, again immaculate, nothing to report at all there. Looking at your driver's mirror, as you can see the indicator lens here, it's got a slight crack in that there, so just be wary of that. Looking at your driver's door itself now, looks very clean there's one or two very minor scratches again they'll polish out no problem door edge is spotless it's a very nice condition there door sills no marks at all there you've got your roof bars on top also have a rear privacy glass looking at the rear passenger door a little bit of a touching required there apart from that it's very tidy um, door edge is immaculate rear arch and rear quarter nothing to report that it's all in good order and moving towards the rear tyres, you can see you've got easily a good 5 to 6 millimetres of tread there. Looking at the offside rear alloy, taking a good look, as you can see there's a very small amount of corrosion there. Again, they are a polished finish, so it is going to happen after um, some age of the vehicle. But apart from that, very clean. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle, as you can see, you've got rear parking sensors. Looking on the rear bumper of the car, as you can see there's no sign of any damage whatsoever again it looks very clean very tidy again nothing really to report you've got a couple of touch-ins that are going to be required on the boot edge there so you can see just a little bit of paint is going to be required um, same on that side as well just a couple of little touch-ins here and there take a look inside the boot as you can see you've got your parcel shelf lovely clean condition and inside you've got your spare wheel and your age related plates there as well Moving around to the near side of the vehicle, looking at the near side rear tyre. Once again, you've easily got a good 5 to 6 millimetres of tread. Looking at the near side rear alloy, there's a slight scuff mark at the top there. Again, some very minor curbing there as well. So again, a potential refurb may be required. Looking down at the near side of the car, no signs of any dinks or dents at all down there. Looks very tidy. Um, rear door edge is in good condition. And again, guys, it looks very clean indeed. Like I said, it's clearly been taken care of. No marks at all. Mirror is all in lovely condition. And I can't even see a scratch on either of the doors there. Front arch is very clean. And easily a good 3 to 4 mil on the front tyre there. So plenty of tread on all four tyres. Near side front tyre, you can see a very minor scuff there. A little bit of curbing as well, so again, not bad at all for its age, but will need a refurb. Moving around to your front, you've even got front parking sensors, so you can see there's some nice spec to the vehicle. And looking around the front bumper, again, very clean indeed. Um, there's literally just one or two light stone chips that'll need a couple of touch-ins. The bonnet is very clean, no sign of any stone chips at all there. Now taking a look at the interior of the vehicle. As you can see, we've got the full cloth interior. And it is absolutely immaculate in the interior. Cloth is immaculate, no sign of any stains, any damage whatsoever there. Back of the seats are how they should be. Even the carpets are lovely and clean as well, so really nice condition inside. Driver's seats again, no signs of any damage or any marks. And the front passenger seats again in nice condition. Dashboard etc is tidy, there's no scratches or marks. And the steering wheel is also in nice condition as well. You do have your automatic headlights there and stepping inside the vehicle itself. Now we do have only one key with the vehicle, so just one key with the car. And if we just get the vehicle started up. As you can see, no issue at all starting the car. We're looking at 44,613 on the clock and no symbols appearing on the dash to be wary of and the car runs exactly how it should do. Multifunction steering wheel, like I said, it's in nice condition. You've got your touch screen display here. Again, as you can see, working perfectly fine. No issues at all with the sound, CD player. 
No problems with the blowers, they're all working great. You've got your air conditioning which does come out nice and cold. As you can see it's an auto box, it is the uh, four motion box, really good. Um, but apart from that again, everything's looking very well. Looking at the uh, documents, looking at the V5, the vehicles had two owners, so there's two owners on the car. MOT expires, as you can see we've checked here to make sure. 14th of April 2016, so plenty left on the MOT. And service history, just to top it off guys, we've got a full service history of the car and quite a lot of Volkswagen stamps, so 7 there, 15, 20, you get all the Volkswagen, 28 of Volkswagen, and your last one there at 40,000 miles. As you can see, it's been done very recently at a non-franchise garage. There we go guys, that is the lovely looking 2010 Volkswagen Tiguan Sport TDI, and it is a lovely looking car for its age.